you, particularly those of you who are runners, are going to have fat pads or calluses on either side of your calcaneus, and you want to ignore those. You want to just look at the bone. So that's why I pinch so that I know that there's bone, and I'm going to bisect that and then draw a line. Okay? <laughs> then you're going to come up, and you want to bisect the tibia and fibula, and you're going to draw a line um, up a ways and, and bisect that as well. Now again, the medial and lateral head of the gastroc are asymmetrical, so you want to be careful that you're not swayed by muscle mass and that you really are trying to be in line with the tibia. Now you're going to put your axis of your goniometer right at the, at the um, I almost said tippy top. <laughs> <laughs> From the most superior aspect of the calcaneus. And you're going to align your stationary arm with the line that you put on um, the tibia, and you're going to align your moving arm on the line that you put on the calcaneus. Okay? So, go back to my tippy top. It's just weird. Okay, what I do is I hold, so the advantage to these transparent goniometers is I can see whether or not I'm still on my green line through my goniometer and here as well. So what I do is I grab the moving arm while I grab the calcaneus so that then as I'm moving, and I'm going to change my hand grip here, just now you're going to get a shot of my armpit. <laughs> no, I'm really low. I don't know why I'd be sensitive okay. about that now. <laughs> so I'm holding here and I'm going to move her ankle. Julie, I thought we decided you could move. <laughs> okay, so I'm rechecking because I don't. I want to make sure that I'm still on it, and I need to make sure that I'm staying there. So for her inversion, I have her at 26 degrees, 30 is normal, so that's not bad. I'm actually having a hard time moving her, so I'm going to come in and move her without the goniometer. She just doesn't evert. So I'm going to come in, I'm using my leg to cheat a little bit. I also think I'd be better off with a smaller goni. I'm going to recheck again, make sure I'm on my line up there, and I am. She only has about five, has exactly five degrees of eversion. If I grab my smaller goni, I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time telling. Now what I don't like about this one is where I put my line. It doesn't line up there. I would have needed to put it a little bit lower. So I go here. This is a lot easier for me to then grab. See how much it's a little bit less clumsy? And I'm getting 20 now when I get her out this way. So it was more of an issue of the goniometer than anything else. But I like doing it this way because now I can move her and move the goniometer all at once. Okay? So that's going to be inversion and eversion. For people who have lateral ankle sprains, this is going to be a really important measurement to take. Okay? Now I'm cranking on her pretty hard to see what she's got just because I end up getting curious someone had an ankle sprain, you would not be torquing on them quite like that. Okay. All right. So those are the only two measurements we have in prone. So why don't you go ahead and practice those two?